dream stands, man. They they're they're different, man. <laughs> That's that's one way I can put it, bro, is that dream stands are different. And if you don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, good. You don't know what dream stands or who dream is. That's that's good. You've won. And two, um, I'm about to ruin that shit for you. So dream is like a Minecraft YouTuber. And I guess he has a master following. Well, I can't even say I guess because he has. But he has a master following and... His following is just so fucking weird. And with Dream, bro, like, I have nothing against him, but his fans, well, let me say stands, because they're normal Dream, like, fucking fans out there, but his stands completely ruin his content for me to not even give it a chance because of the shit they do. And if you have never seen a Dream stand before, I am about to give you an example. Let me roll the footage real quick, big dog. Alright, so now we have the quality of dream stands out of the way so we can all be on the same page. Let's get into the topic of the video. So, this girl, or boy, I don't know, their face is covered up, not even me trying to make jokes, is literally in a corner crying because of the fact that their mother won't let them wear a dream hoodie to their aunt's funeral. And she was like, oh, this is my comfort hoodie, and I'm like, one, I understand comfort items. I am in college for psychology, so I definitely understand the fact of comfort items, but damn, bro. That, there's just better ways you could have gone about it. So again, let me pause the video and let me roll the footage so we can be on the same page again. Man, that was really riveting to watch. I love the edgy name, like Hopeless Broken Soul. And not it, are not only are they a hopeless broken soul, six six fucking six. But I'm gonna have to keep it a buck. I don't understand how you can find comfort in this face. I'm gonna probably put some dumb fucking meme I sent a friend about a couple days ago, but I don't understand how you can find comfort in this face. Just look at it. Let's look at it together for a little bit. And tell me what comfort, what joy, what just safe and security feeling do you feel from this face? If anything, I don't feel any of that. I just feel horny as hell. But here's the actual <laughs> here's the actual hoodie. Let me not laugh at my own jokes and make it seem lame. But here's the actual hoodie, and this is what they what would um have worn to their aunt's funeral. And I understand it, like, I understand comfort items, but there is just a time and a place for everything. Because, let me find out that one of my relatives, if I fucking just kick the bucket right now, and one of my relatives or my family members bring their children, and they wear a dream hoodie to my funeral, I'd be about mad as a bitch. I'll be looking down or looking up, depending on my life choices. Like, what the hell are you doing? It's just, it's just weird. It's just some point where you have to put your fandom aside for, like, real life shit. Because I promise you, Dream is not going to be like, aw, you wanted to wear my hoodie to your funeral. Mm, come here, baby. Come here, give me a hug. No, never that, bro. It's like, you just look weird to the greater masses. And I will be damned if I go look at them comments and there's people supporting that shit. Like, god damn. And there's the fact that people like will be like, it's okay, I would let you wear my your dream hoodie to my funeral or shit like that. And it's like, why are you encouraging this behavior? The point of comfort item, like, mm, in, in my classes, we, we, we try to stray away from using comfort items to cope with life. Like, 
I I'm, I go to college for this shit, and I hate when people be like, "Oh, you you I would let you do something like that, and bring your comfort hoodie to my funeral." No, do not let them do that. It's gonna make it worse. They're gonna have shitty fucking unhealthy coping mechanisms in their fucking thirties. They're gonna fucking walk around with that bullshit fucking stringy towel that fucking Manny had from Diver and Wimpy Kid in their fucking thirties. No, god damn it, don't let them do that shit. But it's just weird to me that your fandom is more important than fucking a uh, relative's funeral. And just overall, the, the shit's just weird to me. It's really fucking stupid, if anything. Like, I understand, and I it makes me understand more why it's stupid. Like, goddamn, bro. <sighs> goddamn. But fuck it, man. That's the video, bro. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But before I go, I'm streaming on Twitch, like, eventually. Not today, but more than likely today. But I'll be streaming on Twitch. So if you want to see me do some cool shit like this. please please follow the twitch like for real i'm gonna get heavy into streaming more than likely just been playing apex for me to start out but shit man it, it it's, it's lit my streams are lit i promise you my streams are lit so link in description shit like that y'all niggas take it easy not too easy since when life gets hard and y'all stay blessed peace